Good morning, friends. Stephen Bernoon here with Israeli News Live, and uh, I'm just going to basically highlight something I am working on right now for you in about a 10-minute video here, uh, and then we're going to come back to this subject tomorrow. Uh, I would have liked to have recorded this today, but uh, time is a little bit difficult for me to really put this together and give it the real justice that it deserves. And the message is going to be the indictment, Jesus's indictment of the Pharisees. And when we're talking about an indictment, we're going into this in a, in a way I don't know if it's ever really been challenged before. Uh, because clearly, Jesus in Matthew 23 is indicting the Pharisees. Uh, he's indicting them for the bloodshed that has taken place from the very days of Abel going all the way to Zacharias. Now, we have Zacharias, son of Archias. There's a lot of debate as to which Zachariah that was. Was that John the Baptist's father? Or was it a different Zachariah? Uh, a lot of different contentions on that. I'm not as much going to go into that particular uh, debate there because it's really irrelevant in this case here. It is mainly the fact that he indicts the Pharisees for a lineage, a lineageal crime that has been committed uh, against uh, the people of God all the way down through time. And I find it very fascinating and so therefore I wanted to bring this out because if you go back even going into Genesis, when God takes, for example, and Cain does kill Abel, um, and he, he banishes him from uh, his brethren and stuff, and Cain speaks unto uh, God and says to him, uh, you know, he, he gets down with, let's see, where is it at here? Uh, mm, you have driven me out this day, verse 14 in chapter 4, I believe it is, uh, from the face of the land and from your face, and, and, and I shall be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a wanderer in the earth. Now Cain's more worried about his own skin than he is about the fact that he murdered his brother. He says, it will come to pass, uh, it will come to pass that they will, um, hang on one second here that whosoever findeth me will slay me. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore whosoever slays Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a sign for Cain, lest any finding him should smite him. Now I always thought that was kind of peculiar. Here Cain is, he's the murderer, and yet, even though now God, his punishment, he drives him out, into the land, drives him out from away from his family, but then he talks about sevenfold vengeance will be taken upon those that kill him. What a stark contrast, though, when we come to Matthew 23 uh, and we get down here to the, you know, he's going to the Pharisees, all their crimes, everything they've done, and we're going to really break this all down. And, um, uh, he calls them, you know, a generation of vipers. He said, how can you escape the damnation of hell? He, uh, and then he goes on to say that, uh, verse 35, that upon you may come all the righteous bloodshed upon the earth from the blood of righteous Abel and to the blood of Zacharias, son of Archias, whom you slew between the temple and the altar. Um, that's pretty provocative in my view here, because he has now indicted the Pharisees. Uh, so it's clearly a lineage or, or a, um, a lineal type of charge being brought against them for the murders, all the righteous murders that have ever happened upon the face of the earth. And you really have to go back to Matthew 23 and look at what all he says about the Pharisees um, and to understand why he indicts them. And this has a lot to do also with why he calls them uh, you serpents, you generation of vipers, how can you escape the damnation of hell? 
it's there is no escape of that judgment and then when we go into Matthew 24 this is where you're going to find uh, the prophecy of judgment and that's another thing I find very fascinating is that we look at Matthew 24 we see the 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 prophetic implications of Matthew 24 but he starts right off and he begins in there they you know they they Jesus went out and departed from the temple this was after he's already indicted them and his disciples came to him to show the buildings of the temple and Jesus said unto them see you not that all these things verily I say unto you there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down now don't forget he'd already told them their house is left unto them desolate right that's the closure of Matthew 23 the indictment the desolation of their of their houses and you're going to find out that the desolation of the houses is not the pharisees as much it's to the jewish people that had sided with them that got caught up in their lies uh, that were blinded by the doctrine of the pharisees um, and then he brings about the fact that the temple is going to be destroyed and then the entire I find it fascinating too if you think about it because in Matthew 24 we start off with the prophecy of the destruction of the temple but it goes all the way down into modern times that we're living in now where that judgment just continues on the wars will happen uh, but then comes the destruction of everything as a result so indictment judgment and um, you know the execution of those justices that he talks about uh, all happening over here in Matthew 24. So it's it's going to be a very in-depth endeavor that I want to put together on here. Um, and also this weekend trying to load a couple of more videos there on our Patreon channel as well. So I just wanted to kind of highlight that for you to let you know what I'm working on. I'll be working on it tonight as well. And maybe, just maybe, I might be able to load this tonight. I would love to load it tonight to where you've got this July 4th weekend coming up where you can really sit down and go through this message because, like I said, it's going to be provocative. It's going to go into a depth uh, uh, of why we're living what we're living in prophetic times that we're living in right now uh, and, and really examining uh, this indictment that Jesus hands down and the judgment thereof. I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for your support of this broadcast. Our mailing address and website is right above my head there. But if you go to our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org, you can see there as well how you can reach out to us, including our email address. God bless you and thank you.